I, I was talking with my wife a couple of days ago, and I, I just, I, I can't tell you how excited I am about what's occurring in the world. And my heart is grieved at the, the human tragedy of what I see taking place. My heart is grieved at the suffering that's taking place. My heart is grieved to watch our nation unravel. My heart is grieved by these things. But simultaneously, the, the, the saints for millennia have been waiting for this moment in human history to come. And we're here, breathing, alive, watching it occur. And we get to be a part of what very well could be the last generation before the Lord comes for the church. In the book of Hebrews, we're told something similar in chapter 12, verse 25, when the writer says, see to it that you don't refuse him who speaks. You know, the Lord is speaking. There's no question. He's trying to communicate some things to us. But if we don't know the prophecies and we don't know his plan, we're going to be confused by the message. We're going to be distressed by it. But if we understand that God has said in advance, he is going to shake the nations, and there's a reason he's going to shake the nations, then we can participate in it, and we can partner in it, and we can, we can actually contribute to God's eternal plan. So it's important that as he speaks, we not only understand what he's saying, but that we partner in that work that he wants to accomplish. He says, and continuing in Hebrews 12, if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. We have a lot of evidence of the shaking that God is doing. And I'm going to cover some areas very briefly. Don't need to say much about these because you're fully aware. If you read a newspaper or if you listen to the radio or watch TV, the crisis that, that we are in. Uh, some of this news may be news for uh, Bible college students. They don't have TV. They don't, well, they have, they have Internet. But, uh, but some of this news may be a little bit new. But for the most part, this is going to be stuff that you're aware of. But the earth itself, the creation, is being shaken. In the book of Romans, when Paul is writing the church in Romans chapter 8, verse 22 and 23, this is what he says. We know that the whole creation has been groaning and is in the pains of childbirth right up to those present time. It's interesting that he uses this phrase of childbirth because the birth pangs are also what are described as these final days, these events that are going to be unfolding that are, are traumatic to the globe, to the nations, uh, economically and socially, morally, politically, in virtually every arena you can imagine. And we're actually seeing it happen with creation. Nine of the ten costliest and deadliest hurricanes have occurred in the last ten years. And, of course, the worst was Hurricane Katrina at a price tag of over $108 billion uh, to our economy. Hurricane Irene came after that. That was uh, ranked in the top five hurricanes in, in human history. The tornadoes of this last few years has outpeaked and gone beyond anything in the last 50 years that we've had in our nation. And then we've got the fires in Texas that have been amazing, and the drought that Texas is going through is unprecedented. We've had earthquakes that we just haven't had before. We've had earthquakes on the East Coast that is rare, and now we've had earthquakes as well on the West Coast, both areas that, that don't frequently have that kind of, of natural disaster. And then, of course, the tsunami in Japan, uh, which the Prime Minister there called the worst disaster since World War II. We have a lot of miscellaneous disasters. It's almost embarrassing to say miscellaneous because the people that these impact are just devastating. But the Australians faced the worst flooding they've had in history. Uh, they called it flooding of biblical proportions in their local newspapers. Russia is suffering the worst drought in 100 years right now. China, the worst drought in 200 years. The earthquake in Christchurch in New Zealand left uh, one-third of all the buildings in that city uh, in a position where they have to be t torn down or demolished because they've either fallen down or they're no longer safe. And then last year, of course, in Haiti, God shook uh, that nation with the deadliest earthquake, the most deadly, in 500 years. Now, we can choose to ignore these things, but these are things that are just happening when it comes to our natural creation. What God, what we would say is a natural disaster, God says is a shaking, shaking of the nations.